Hi, this is Rod Metuber playing Horn to Arm PC, and today we're taking a look at the 9.374R over and under break action rifle. This is the one everyone wants to get their hands on, and Ron's got in his hands right now, ready to test it and show you how it performs. This over and under configured double barrel break action rifle focuses on speed and power, featuring a smooth walnut stock and a comfortable design. This gun is capable of firing two shots in quick succession whilst almost always ensuring the kill. It is a must have when out on a hunt for medium to larger size game, whether it be aggressive charging beer or a relentless tank of a water buffalo, this gun does the job, chambered in 9.374R. The scope that fits this gun is a 1.1 8x30 rifle scope which also fits the 7x64mm bolt action rifle which was newly released last week. The ammo this gun takes is a 9.374R. So now we've had a look at the gun, we're going to stick some ammo in it, check out the reload animations and how it sounds. Right here goes. Here's the first person reload animation. Check out the third person animation. Really nice. A couple of shots. Let's check that again. So nice, crisp, quick action. Very smooth. One more time. And we'll stick the scope on. While we take a look at the gun with the scope on, let's go through the permitted species list, what you can shoot with this gun. The Alpine Ibex, the Bantang, Bighorn Sheep, Bison, Black Bear, Black Tailed Deer, Brown Bear, Coyote, Doll Sheep, Feral Goat, Feral Hog, Grey Wolf, Grizzly Bear, Moose, Mule Deer, Polar Bear, Red Deer, Red Kangaroo, Reindeer, Rocky Mountain Elk, Roe Deer, Roosevelt Elk, Rooster Deer, Samba Deer, Sitka deer, water buffalo, white tailed deer and the wild boar. So quite a big list there. What I'm going to do is, before I go hunting, I want to see what is this gun's main perks, what is the main reason for buying it. Now we're going to jump onto white art to test this out. Alright, let's get over to white art and let's have a look. You're probably wondering why Ron has come to white art to the pistol range to test out a rifle. He don't seem to make any sense but there's sound logic behind this Ron wants to show you why you should buy the 9.374R well the main reason I can think of and that's to get off a couple of shots quicker than a normal bolt action rifle now we're going to compare it against another bolt action rifle which is a 9.362 and shots now this is a great rifle but as you're going to see I'm just going to zoom out the scope so they're both exactly the same when I fire this 9.374R, look how quick I can get two shots off in succession. Here it goes. That's as fast as you can probably fire that. Now let's do it with the hand shots. Now you have to wait for the reload on this, and it's probably double the amount of time. And that can be quite vital. Let's just try that one more time. Let's reload. Here it goes. Now the hand shot. Now that reload delays it by about a second, maybe a bit more. So it's probably twice as quick, the 9.374R, over the 9.362 bolt action rifle. So that is a clear advantage and one of the main reasons I think you should uh, buy it. Now let's take a look on this target for example. So pretty accurate. Now let's try this. See that reload, that reload is a killer, it just it just costs you about a second, second and a half to reload over the 9.374R. So that clearly shows there is an advantage to owning this gun and a reason for buying it. It doesn't make any other guns bad, it just means there is a reason for buying it. Now a lot of people when you do these tests or I do them or whatever they'll say go shoot this, go shoot that. So I thought why not come for the Robocop of animals, the Samba. The Samba deer has been doing people's heads in. So I thought Ron's gonna come out with this gun and we're gonna smash some Samba. So I've got one here, it's over probably 150 meters, which if you ask anyone, it, people will complain about this. 
So Ron's going to go for a double lug. Right, straight down. I know that's over 150 meters. It's a female. We're just doing a test. We're not going for world records or anything. I just want to show what this gun can do. And it can fire quicker than a normal bolt action rifle. Whether you can hit the target um, with those successive shots as accurate as a normal bolt action rifle with a delay is questionable, but that's going to take a little bit of practice. When they're low level, you can have a bit of wobble. So as you rank it up, it's probably going to get even better. So it will probably show the advantage a bit more as you progress playing with it. But as you see, that drop of Samba Deer like nothing. And people will tell you Samba Deer are like, it's like Robocop. <laughs> they don't like going down. So Ron's dropped to female. They're going to go over and collect it, see what the uh, distance is on it. And hopefully it's a double long. It should be. It looked like it rocketed down. We're just starting a new season, so all the leaderboards are reset. So let's give people something to aim for with this new rifle. I think a lot of people will be going for long distance shots now on the Sambas. Now you can knock them down. And as you can see, through the shoulder blade, left, right long, 161.39 meters. So excellent performance that is. So Robocop can be killed. We've, <laughs> we've got one. That will be top of the range leaderboards for a little while. Let's see if we can get one a bit better than that. It should be good actually because a lot of people get involved in doing it like I've just been saying and uh, it will uh, get people doing it because a lot of people have been frustrated. We're not able to knock the uh, Samba deer down. That's why I chose to hunt these species for the video. I thought it would be a good way of highlighting how good this gun is. And it is going to be very popular. Can you tell me where there's any male Samba deer please darling? Uh, I don't know where there is at the minute and I'm sure you've got an idea. It looks like you're going in that way. Maybe you're going home to your husband. Hope it's not him I meet because you may not have one after this. <laughs> oh, it's that way is it? Thank you very much. So after Mrs. Samade point him in the right direction, I thought I'd go this route. Where I often find a lot of sand my day. You can get roots of deer here, but where my tent is, you come and follow this river up, and there's often quite a few where I'm looking. But because I'm recording, you know the score, they aren't there. But honestly, there is normally a lot of sand my day in this sort of area, and all the way up to the bridge. The bridge is really good all around that area for sand my day. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to walk up this way, hopefully, spot. A Samba deer, a male. I really want to get a male and I want to try and get it over the 160 meters we've already just got. Um, hopefully closer to 200 meters, that will be really nice. And then there's no darts, then, is there? So Ron's going to have his own little challenge here and it's with the hunter community and new viewers of this video. Post your longest shot on a Samba deer with a 9.374R break action rifle when you get it. I want to know how far you can get it doesn't matter if it's only 40 meters i want to hear about it because that's all it is it's about taking part having fun we've got a male in front of us and ron doesn't want to mess this up because this is in quite a nice position to get a long shot we've got a nice little long run in front of me there's the male now can ron mess it up he possibly could but hopefully not here we go let the scope steady up a little bit come on ron and we've got it straight down. Ron's happy about that because that's probably about 190 meters there. Um, I don't have enough long shots to know. It's sort of like 190 to 200 meters. Draw distance is about 220 meters when shooting flat. So if you want the really long distance shots, you have to climb up a hill or a mountain or an elevated position. Now the thing is, on this reserve and where San Madeira are, there's trees everywhere, there's a lot of vegetation and that's where the sand medias are. So it's quite hard and also if you look everywhere there's treetops. So you've got to be right on the ball to get anything over 220 on a sand medir. Or there's going to be a position maybe on this reserve set up where you can just catch him in the right spot. So anyone who gets over that, I take my hats off you. Uh, that is a really good achievement. Ron's happy to get his and I think it'll be close to 200 meters which is... A real happy moment because I know this gun is really good there's nothing much I can knock it on the only thing I'd probably suggest is the hunter team make some different scopes to fit it because the 
one by one eight by thirty rifle scope with a green bar is a bit of an acquired taste. I prefer um, maybe a red dot scope or just a clear cross scope uh, for it. And then I think you'd have probably the best, well not the best, but one of the best rifles in the game. Definitely worth buying. It's really good. Right and left long, 196 meters. What can you say to that? So that's been me, Ron McTube. We can take a look at the 9.374R over and under bolt action rifle. Absolute stunner of a gun. Well worth a buy. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Watch out for Hunter content from me regular. If you've got any ideas or anything you want to see, drop it in the comments and I'll see what I can come up with. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.